Hello, it is OMG Let's Talk. We have a very special episode. It is not like others that we've been doing. We're going to be talking about 90 Day Fiance. That's actually what we always do. <laughs> but we're doing the tell all recap. recap yes, the recap tell all for single life. We usually go on our, we've been going on our Twitch to try to do tell alls. We just don't give too many live, what is it called? Live people, live what? We don't get too many viewers. Yeah, we don't get too many people in, so there's no point in really doing Twitch. So we're going to cover it this way. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. But also, come on. I want people to get on Twitch for the fucking tell-alls. It'd be fun. Heck, right? no. Hopefully Lady. one day. Watch it together. It's way more fun. Way more fun. But we're going to be giving you part one of Single Life Tell-All, and we are just going to be showing some major parts. Whatever we think is funny, whatever we think is sad, whatever we think is bad, whatever we think is... Rad. There you go. All right. Not gonna lie, the scene looks like they're about to fight, but it's, it's so just the cool. start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so tell all is uh -oh. starting. What? Sorry. I like the shoes. Oh boy, Swiss screens. One second. Swiss screens. Three. One second. As well. Boom, 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 boom. All, all right. right, ready? Yep, 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 yep. yep. All right, we, we back. We back. <laughs> it was our break. Much. Another break. Uh, Let's talk about our girl, little Natalie over there, you know what I'm saying? So you know how it is in the intro. They get right into it for the single life. Um, they all come in, sit down, and like, all right. All the boys start who's talking not shit. Here? Let's talk shit about them. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. From what you saw on the screen, her and Mike end up not together, right? I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think. Yeah. Good for Big Mike, man. Big Mike needs to be happy. I don't even want to say it because I still, like, I don't think it's going to come out wrong. But like, yeah, it's like, it. Natalie, she's almost around toxicness, you know? Yeah, yeah. Ty Rapey, dude, what is wrong? Look at this dude. I don't know why he, yeah, his, he must, I don't know why he always looks like that. I can't even get my eyes that low. And like still be open? No, but also I think she wants like, it to be like ancient Rome where they're fighting over her and she's like Rapunzel and her hair is out. <laughs> oh, Rapunzel. Yeah, I think oh. that's what she I think he's 100% right. He yeah. Gonna, like, fight like a fucking gladiator for he's her. He's pretty accurate on that. It was what did she funny. expect, bro? Yeah, it's kind of funny. People aren't as harsh on Natalie when they're in the room with her because I'm like, I think everyone's afraid that they're gonna, she's gonna freak out on them. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's the same kind of thing I, like with Jasmine. They're like, we're not even gonna talk to this girl. Yeah, because we don't say too much to her in person, though. No, of course not. She's too hypersensitive. <laughs> wow. I remember like seeing they asked you like what your perfect first time would be like, and you were like, oh, to go to the kitchen and the laundry room, and <laughs> but like. Like, I'm going to be real honest here, and I hope John is, too, because... It's going to be a couple pumps and you're done, bro. Bro, thank you. <laughs> John. I don't know. Like, people have that much pent-up en sexual energy? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like probably drinking it off and having sex is different, so... True. <laughs> I don't remember it such a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they're just waiting for everyone to show up. Natalie shows up, blah, 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 blah. They give them a bunch of shitty shit, shit advice. Yeah, every, nobody has good advice, and Tyree says it perfectly. Say all the singles that are currently single are not qualified to talk about my dating life. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, though. <laughs> right? Like, like, he's you? been like 100% right on like everything he said on here. Like, okay. And I love that I'll take your advice. I'm not wearing panties. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the context. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Pause this. Pause it's this. That was so confidence. Way out of con. Two. Just okay. <laughs> just go. You need to go further back because that was no. I'm not wearing. No. Just go back. <laughs> what? It's like whoa. We were. So They're all talking about Chantel. Now. Chantel bragging about not wearing any underwear. I'm not wearing panties. There we it's go. Like, That's uh -uh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess in this time, too, we find out that Chantel has her own makeup room. Mm -hmm. Like, or makeup team. Yeah, she's all diva. Yeah, she has, like, separate, like, area. So it's pretty funny. 
You hear that? Oh, God. Yeah, his eyes. Well, this is when it starts. The first person to start with is Veronica and Tim. Of Obviously, course, as they're, they're like a couple. Still. But they act like they're still a couple in the single life. Their Tim, broken up. Veronica, broken up. Of course. All right, let's bring them out now. Yes, bring it, so they're bringing out the exes. Yes. Hi, oh. hi, Louisa. Hi. Say hi, Jamal. Son. <laughs> Say hi, Jamal. <laughs> oh, and then, oh, boy, did they get into Tim it. They have Jamal so much to talk good shit about. For Veronica. Let's take a look. Yeah, we know what happened. We know. Time will tell, like, you know, I'm gonna fight you. What you're not going to do? Why do you? Dude, what you're not going to do? Also, what you're not going to do is raise the <laughs> All the time now, I think it's so funny. Tell Marley that shit every day. Yeah. But what you're not going to do? You're like, what you're not going to do? <laughs> I love it. It's definitely on my 2024 bingo card as number one saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure. They are pretending right now, like oh. Yeah, I completely Ooh, agree. They, they showing so much shit, dude. We are dude. the best friends. We are. We love We're each so other. Close. We're so close. <laughs> We're so close. Yeah, Melissa. Yeah, but we. I mean, that's, that's, that's what they're referring. I'm fucking oh, Tim. The way so he talks, he's uh, in his arm and like. You know who I hate more is Veronica. Yeah. She's just laughing at it, like, like <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh -huh. we are like that. That's totally fine. We know Nothing it. Nothing you ever say, Jamal, is gonna be a fact. It's an opinion no, you have. No, it's a fact. Trust me. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, I have receipts too, sweetheart. Did you call me sweetheart? Yeah, because you're looking like one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck Tim and Veronica. We've been saying the whole season. They're so fake, dude. Yeah, so these are just fire, like the spicy <laughs> stuff that was at said. each other. But obviously, Jamal and what's her name? I forgot. Their two exes are basically just saying they're full of shit. They don't like each other. They're mm -hmm. never going to be with people. Jamal just kind of lays it out like, he just do does have, not give a uh, fuck huge disagreements in parenting and and personality Tim, what, the person you about? try to act like you're not this person mm -hmm. you're not this person you're fake even she says it i don't even like sharing the stage with you dude veronica <laughs> <laughs> dude was that like in slow-mo i don't know man that was good but then we find out that um him, I mean, um, Jamal supposedly, I don't know what's going on here. Like he's just annoyed not. with them. So just stop not, with the, no, I'm sorry. Because I'm sorry. they're just like, we're just, friends. Yeah, and their whole like innocent act. And how they look so at each other like, look yeah. at these fuckers. Like, these like, people are crazy. Yeah, like, well, you're they the act like they're way one. better. And Manipulators. Yes, man. they're narcissistic bitches. Uh -huh. Gaslighters. We're buddy, buddy. We I was literally just actually saying exactly what you're saying. No, you're no, you're gonna make yeah. it seem like y'all are I, I fine. Agree. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, this. only cares about himself. He's 43 with roommates. Like, only drinks Mountain Dew. He doesn't really help out Veronica <laughs> when she needs him. So this is what wow. Veronica is all saying about Tim. Yeah, because Jamal's like, yeah, Veronica said all this, and then Tim's ex is like, well, Tim said this, and they're talk shit about each other like constantly. Deep, like Tim pretty and Veronica. deep, and they're like, we tell each other that, it's but it does not seem like it. That. When I say that to his face, he knows it. Yeah. Gosh, no, it doesn't. Up. See, that seems Shame. fake. They did not Nothing. say it to each other's face. That's so true. That's I'm so tired of so it. How they just laugh everything off, like, yeah. Who has the bigger and I don't know if any of y'all feel the same way. You can't really be friends with your ex and date Damn. someone. You definitely can't. Damn right. Well said, well said. Never want to be with somebody yep. nope. who is still Don't friends no. with yeah, their ex that. because I feel it's ridiculous. You shouldn't. Yeah, just if you're serious about going into the fucking a real relationship, who's you? Yes. Yeah, you got to cut some shit off, dude. All right. They're a little too close. There's nothing wrong with being friends, but it's like mm, best friend. I don't know if there is anything right with being friends with your ex if you're going into a real relationship. I guess. There's no way you would. What if okay it was like that. an ex like from high school? I meant nothing. Did you have sex? No. Oh, then I should be okay. Oh, oh wow! Only people you bang. Yeah, that's not cool. Deadbeat. No, I. And it was so never said that because I've had a job this you whole time. Are, you I have. A and apartment you, and in the was... most expensive city in the country. Let's go, you know, San Diego. Me, like, oh, we can vouch. Right. And, that was up. and he has a house. Yeah. That's he's doing very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're just haters. Tim and Veronica are just fucking haters they're to whoever haters. and even to each other. Like it's just their personality is just a bunch of fucking bullshit, asshole shit talking. Yeah, I guess Jamal was saying or Veronica was trying to make Jamal seem like a worse person by saying Jamal broke up 
with through her text. through text. Uh -huh. And he's like, Basically no. Said, like, deuce. She said, oh, he told me, like, I'm not going to see something stupid. And then he threw up the deuces. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. Yeah, supposedly he broke up over text and everything. <laughs> but then Jamal goes back and says, like, no, my mom was, like, going through it and she needed help and you just weren't there. So Veronica never even offered anything. And he's like, I can't come back right now. And then they just drifted apart, like, slowly. That's that's Jamal's side of the story. So I don't fucking know, man. We got drunk and With she Veronica. told me that she couldn't believe she was dating Jamel since he didn't have any job and he was trash. Did you really? I, I've never called a human trash in my life. She totally did. Yes. This impossible. Why you can tell lie? by her demeanor that she's just a liar. I oh hate everything. You, you were drunk. <laughs> you were drunk. <laughs> but you're making things up now. Oh my god. I'm just god. telling what happened because it, it looks like you are super hurt. But you I, told I, me that. Me that. <laughs> you, it looks like you're hurt, but it's the truth. Dude, I hate how she does this. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking. This is what a liar would do. What? Mira, look, it's okay. You Mira, guys stay here fighting as long as you want. Canta la vida. Of course, she wanted to walk off. Bitch. Bitch. All right, Whatever. Into She's not a Ray fan, so. There's more. They'll get back to Tim and Veronica, but we're just going through the episode. Hi, Ray. Still a virgin? Uh, yeah. Of course. I want a dumb question. Oh, play it. I like this. Debbie likes him. A man of integrity. He's not going to just find any port in a storm. <laughs> well, there's a fine balance between every port in a storm and, you know, not a little bit never hurt nobody. A little bit never <laughs> hurt nobody. I will get her. Come down. Yeah, just take her off the table when she jumps on. It's easier. I don't want her to scratch me either. Yeah, she's kind of a jerk sometimes. Mm -mm. Almost. Yeah, it's fucking Ty Ray. I couldn't believe who they brought on for advice. Yeah, so in Ty Ray's segment, they talk about how he was, his few relationships. Um, he's not talking to anyone from the show, but he feels more confident. The fear of rejection, like having, like it's almost like when you get rejected, they like have one up on you. You need to think like Tim because it's true. Not everybody's everybody's type, so rejection is part of life, right? So yeah, you'll get there, Ty Ray, but. Not without this help. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is ridiculous. He needs help from a professional. Is this all we have? Self exam. Yeah. I just did it. <laughs> but the whole time that the guys are trying to say, like, Tyra needs to bang Debbie's just like, dude, he's a good man. Like, you're just shut up. <clears throat> well, Debbie, yeah, she's all over the place Journey. in this episode. What, what are your thoughts about they bring why on he Sarper, can't you guys? With women? Don't get offended from the you're other way. You're intelligent guy. Your jokes are funny, great. But there is one thing that shadows everything, Positive. especially your self confidence. Okay, what, you what guys, yes, yes. What could it be? <laughs> I'm sure you've watched it already, but like, I knew ex I actually didn't know what he was going to say. I thought he was going to say something way more stupid, but mm -hmm. he was actually true. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And it is that giggling. You always giggle. <laughs> if I was in USA, I would kick you under the table. <laughs> Whenever you giggle. He's been in, in a nice way, like, I'll nudge at you, like, dude, what are you oh doing? Oh, my God. Sorry it sounds way out, worse. Dude. I kick you under the table. He's fucking funny as shit. I think it makes you appear jovial. It's a, it's a nervous reaction, yeah. Yeah, like, like it's bad. <laughs> See, I just did it right now. <laughs> I have a nervous reaction, so I can, like, really... <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, uh, then Sarper goes on and explains his moves. He's like, this is what you do. This is what... <laughs> hold, hold on. There, there's a name for it. It's fucking... Oh, it's oh his advice of, like, how to get women it's in. It's such a bad play. It's really, really, oh. really creepy. <clears throat> oh, no, man. <laughs> so, this move called Tiger Attack. Tiger Attack. He explains it so then slowly, in but... In the middle of the dinner... You will get up and go to bathroom, is and it... you will come back as a tiger. Like during a date. Yeah, take a girl on a date. During go, the dinner, go to the go bathroom. bathroom, and when you come back, sneak back in, rub their shoulders, and give them a, a kiss or something, right? I was like, stare at them intensely, just play it. Yeah, it's called a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
From tiger that point, attack. you are a tiger and she is your hunt. You all <laughs> silently, surfer, sneaky, quietly will approach. This is... Has he raped women? Yeah. yeah. For sure, from the back. <laughs> Tyre, please. Yeah, right, no. You will kiss her neck. <laughs> you said that's it. On her neck. Let yeah, your yeah, lips slap. Somebody call the police. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Sarper. I can't believe they brought him on. That was pretty funny. I, mean, I was very surprised by that. Because sex is a, like a plane, a flight. And you are the captain as a man, and the woman is the passenger. And she says, would a passenger want to go on a flight with a captain who has no experience? It's a good point, no? I don't think so. Yeah, some women actually like to be like, let me show you, right? Yeah, I would think some men like that too. Like, what's the difference? True. In my career. If you know it is sex. Well, it's never just sex, but you know, sex is important to everybody. I mean, you know, to me, it's important. <laughs> the way he wiggled it's about around. Self gratification, you know? <laughs> and that's where Sarper's missing the boat, you know? Sorry. He's missing the boat a lot. Oh, dude, he is fucking ridiculous. Harper, so yeah, you this need is to do some self-examination. You acting like a dog, and you trying to teach this uh, honorable man to be like a beast. You know, you're a beast. She goes off in this episode on everyone. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, she doesn't like they, anybody. And then, as Sean Roberts would say it, all right, we're gonna take it over to Chantel. Like that? Yeah, pretty much. Getting near the end of the part one. Yeah, Sarper just gets dragged on this whole time. Mm -hmm. And know. what a vacation you had, Chantel. You know, it has been over seven <laughs> years since you, you did have really been good. on the dating scene. What did it feel like to put yourself back out there? Blah, blah, blah. blah. Who fucking cares, honestly? Well, did I even take notes on this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's note that i need to know i'm kind of jealous yeah i'm a little jelly on this one it must be 20 <laughs> i don't know <laughs> or 12. Oh, yeah there, there we go, go. there's some dms she got dms she's famous people said drake to too though people it felt very awkward at Pause first it. but now i'm happy i everyone heard that drake slid into her dms she does get asked but there's somebody else who's cooler. No, I think she had to sign an NDA is what it sounded like. They talk like, about Drake. Yeah, but she's like, um, I can't say anything. I can't do it. She's like basically. We all know that Drake is famous for his NDAs. <laughs> Having a lot. Can you enter that dude's house with signing an NDA? Well, I mean, come on. That's why he has his image up so high. That's so smart of him. Because he's hiding everything. But he's not hiding. If you're going to sign it, that means you want to go in. All right. He's not hiding. What do you think? Ten years later, there's going to be a huge yes, documentary, and he's going to be like the next sure R. Kelly, is. and he has a woman dudgeon downstairs. In less than ten years, a lot of fun with it. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I understand that there was a famous artist, musical artist, that slid into your DMs. Ooh, mm -hmm. Slid into your DMs. Well, I mean, I God, Chantel, why are you fucking talking this so to me? Yeah, goddamn. Get to the fucking. Point, bro. Gosh. Slid into your DMs. Who, who, who? Well, Ooh. I mean, one time I got really excited about um, <laughs> Waka Flocka. And, um, waka Flocka. Yeah, we, 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 we did hang out. Yeah, and his mom waka, and waka, 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 whatever. I mean, I... Oh, Waka, Waka. Waka, Waka. Walk up, lock up, bruh. <laughs> but yeah, I guess walk a flock in, and she actually went on a few dates. She met his parents and everything. Yeah. But she just said it never really went anywhere. I mean, I heard that Drake had hollered at you. Look Ooh. at her face. She's I, basically I, I like, yes, but saying it. no. Crickets. She's yeah, saying yes, but no. Crickets. I'd rather not. We're not saying nothing happened. I'd rather but like, not. You know, Drake hollered. <laughs> Drake hollered. We don't know anything about it. She probably blew him or something. For sure. I would have. I mean, fuck. Um, that's kind of about it. Yeah, and then Debbie just wants to go off about her bad image in Greece, and you need to be more of a lady. She, gets, she goes off Pedro on Chantel. Compromised your trust. 
She's all right, though. Your but friends, just keep the shit to yourself. They were, like, getting you in a direction of, like, yeah, True. it's all about harvesting the cucumber and <laughs> the plant. That's not a good place. They watch that someday. She's saying your kids are going to see that. We can't brag about not wearing panties. <laughs> what are your future children going to think when they watch that someday? You can tell Loki she's like, you can when see they come she's. Of age, they'll they'll understand. She you can see in her face she's like. <sighs> yeah, she's like she's right, but she's just being <clears throat> fucking stubborn. Mm -hmm. I think her point um, is that Shonda, you're you're beautiful. Just your face is enough. You don't need any other asset to get attention from men. Mm, Some she women definitely need needs those that. titties. That's all they've got to she get got attention. Them. I don't want to think about my. I, Take the, those titties off. She wouldn't even be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the truth. I'm not kidding. She wouldn't have stayed on your mean. Yeah, maybe the initial. The, the family of Chantel would not. Wrong with my trip to Greece. Yeah, you're gross. Yeah, it was a little I much. I feel pretty much attacked about my. There's nothing wrong with healing and going t -shirt. out, but it was like a little intense. Coverage was like a thin piece of paper that your men. That All right. Were anyways, so behind the curtains that is waiting is Karen. And that is where we're going to leave off. Yes. So that's going to lead into this. Karen is. Um, this is all coming up. I'm yeah. Sure Karen sure. is Chantel's mom. Oh, that's pretty sad. We're going to do it too. We're going to do it uh, videos, right? Yeah, we're going to split it up. Check out our next video. We'll post the second half here. And then there's a third part too, or, but we got to wait for next week. Yeah, we just wanted to catch up so we can put that <clears throat> third part out when it comes out right away. Mm -hmm. It would be cool. Yeah, catch us in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.